Hello, Pox here reporting from CES 2013 in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is my uh, footage I took the first day at the conference that I was here this year. I, I didn't get to go to the, all, the, all the press events, but I'll show you some of the massive amounts of people and all the different crazy ways that the vendors are trying to get people's attention. Verizon was trying to show their green side and that they support partners with wind energy and this cool head-mounted video conferencing system that uses their network. Also ways of monitoring energy um, breaker by breaker in this box here. Just different different ways of using Verizon service like this live streaming box that you can connect HDMI in on your camera and these little RFID bracelets that'll show all your medical information. So if first responders show up they can tap it and see if you're allergic to things or you know if there's certain stuff they need to be aware of. 3D printers were big this year at CES. I showed it off last year. I interviewed the MakerBox folks. This year they're showing off their newest model. They had a demonstration of how many hours it takes to print something and then what the different qualities look like. A lot of little booths showing off things like this little macro camera. So NVIDIA is in a lot of devices now. One of the big things was this new gaming console type thing that allows you to s stream PC games or just use it as a unit itself. It's a full-size controller screen on the top of it. They're also showcasing how the new Tegra chip could be used inside of vehicles. NVIDIA's GPU is used for the display inside of the Tesla Model S. They're also showing how they can accelerate online gameplay. There were a bunch of people showing off ways of protecting your phones and iPads. Uh, there's a lot of hammers being thrown, paintballs being shot at iPads, lots of crazy ways to be destructive. This was kind of neat, this Cook Magic. They're just devices that you can use to hook, cook things without anything but a chemical. <laughs> you just kind of pour it in the bottom, buck fifty a pack, and it'll heat up in about 15 minutes. There's always interesting chairs lying around at CES. And this is a, a system that you mount onto any existing television to make it a multi-touch device. I saw some pr pretty cool monitors that are transparent. So, like, there's gl uh, the wine glasses inside and the overlay on the outside. There's this. Yeah. Cool computer cases. And yes... The train is a computer case. A lot of little indie development people trying to get funding. There was quite a few telepresence robots. A lot of them were just iPad mounted things. The obligatory cleaning robots. And Trojan was giving away vibrators for some reason. This is cool. This is an action camera that is 360 degrees. Spiro had a cool augmented reality game, which is pretty exciting. I, I want to. I want, one, I want one. They're just so expensive. Sony's showing off their projectors built into their camcorders. And that, now they have an input so you can use it to show off your iOS or Android. And of course Samsung's showing off their huge TVs. Anyways, this was just a preview today of everything here at CES. Please subscribe and I will be posting more videos with interviews from different vendors with some really interesting products. And I'll see you guys um, soon.